Hey guys, I'm John P. and I have got my hands on the 2015 Ford F-150. Let's take a look. Welcome to Geek Beat. Okay guys, we got our hands on the brand new, not even yet available or released, but you're gonna want one anyway, Ford F-150. Now you might be saying, uh, Ford F-150, well, these things have been around for like 50 years. Yes, but not like this one, because Ford has taken an entirely new engineering approach to this thing for 2015 by replacing a ton of really heavy junk with aluminum, or as our friends across the pond would like to say, aluminum. So what's happened is, basically everything you're looking at all these door panels the hood everything it's all made of aluminum and it's a nice heavy duty kind of gauge of aluminum so you can you can kind of hear it's got this nice satisfying thud listen to this dave very satisfying feels good feels solid so there's a lot of cool things i want to walk around and show you guys the exterior of the vehicle uh starting well let's start right here let's start with the mirrors okay uh looks like a normal ordinary mirror however if you will take a look up under here you're going to notice some amazing things first of all that is a downward firing led which is going to illuminate the area down here and that is a camera a camera under the mirror yes because this truck has a 360 degree viewing system and i'll show that to you in a minute when we get inside there's also leds right here which i think is pretty cool because when you turn on the headlights you're able to turn on leds on either the left or right side of the vehicle to illuminate this area it's kind of like having a spotlight built in it's genius why did anybody ever think of that i don't know We'll also see down here little sensors. Now you might have seen those in the past on front and rear uh, uh, bumpers because they're parking kind of assistance and things like that. But they've also got them on the side for collision avoidance, etc. Now coming on over here to the front of the vehicle. First of all, the nose is is redesigned. It's just a good looking good looking truck from the front. But all of the lighting that you're going to see, it's all LED and if we peek right up here under the old Ford Oval, guess what? We've got another camera right up front. That can be activated even when you're driving. So that's kind of cool. You can imagine if you're in a parking lot uh, and you're trying to pull up really close to another car, especially in a big vehicle like this, sometimes you're relying on those little parking sensors to beep at you, but still makes you nervous turn the camera on and look at it. Or That'll if you're be... about to hit that deer and you want a POV shot. Yeah, exactly. You know, hopefully we can record that, you know? Uh, I really like the wheels, by the way. Big, nice 20 inch wheels. Uh, keep coming on around this way because sometimes you want to get up in the bed of your pickup truck and it's kind of hard to do. Now, here's a little tip for those of you who, who want to do this and you don't have what I'm about to show you. Stand on the wheel, but it's not that easy because you got to get up here, but you can, you can stand up here, okay? Well, uh, Ford made it a little bit easier for us with this bad boy, watch this. I kick that and out pops our little step. We're gonna hop right up, get in the truck, do what we need to do. Then when you wanna fold it away, kinda put your foot here on the edge, give it a push over and in, and it just clicks in place. I love that, it's fantastic, it stores out of the way. On the back, we've also got our little camera built into the tailgate. This is not um, anything really new, but it's nice to have it there. We've also got the little parking sensors back here. Lots of technology on this truck. And this tailgate, which I have the key in the car, can be remotely operated. You can tap this button here. We'll open that up. And this is nice. Let's see here. We've got a built-in step. There's no need to just climb into your vehicle when you can pull your handle out and your step. It's kind of spring loaded, which is kind of cool. You just kind of step on that, walk up in here, do your thing. Very, very nice. Then you come on down, push one button, push two buttons, fold that in and we're done. Now this is an interesting little uh, side note. You'll notice that this truck has these four big giant bolts 
in the bed of it. And that's because they're using this particular vehicle to demonstrate what it feels like when it's fully loaded down uh, under weight. And they put giant weights back here so you can, so you can experience it uh, under load, which I like. Now in the back, we've got LEDs illuminating the, uh, the sidewalls here. And there's a button on that side right below them that you can push to turn them on. Also, uh, the vehicle has these tie down hooks here on the side. Or are they? Because this is part of an interchangeable system. You'll be able to put other types of things in here other than just hooks. So I don't know, imagine maybe a bar that goes across and locks in there. Cause there's also the tie down hooks on the bottom corner here and up in the front here. So that's nice. All right. Uh, we spent a lot of time taking a look at the exterior of the vehicle. Let's check out the inside because it's super, super fly. Um, let's start with the back seat. Why not, right? The back seat. Oh, did you see this? Dave, let me do that again. Let me shut the door back on up and watch this. When we open the door, we've got the folding running boards. I like that. It's a nice little touch. Classy, very classy. Okay, so keep in mind, I'm about six foot one and I was just driving this and I still have a, like three inches of knee room uh, between where the seat was already comfortable for me. And in fact, when I got out, that seat backed up because it's got the system where, you know, it helps you uh, with the exit and entry. So we've got a nice big armrest here, uh, cup holders in the armrest. We have a 110 outlet in the back, which is nice. So you could plug in your laptop along with the, uh, uh, the charger and seated heat, heated seats and even seated heat, <laughs> heated seats for the rear passengers. You don't even find that in most cars, but this truck has got it. Also look up, look at this. There is a full panorama sunroof throughout this cabin. It's amazing. So it's nice to be able to be in the back seat and actually see the sun. Drink holders right back here. You got drink holders in the door. It's all good stuff. All right, let's move to the front of the vehicle. We've got the little keypad right here. This is nice in case you uh, forget your key. And all you have to do is remember that code and you can get right into it. Fully adjustable seats for the driver. So, uh, uh, and they're also nice and wide and cushy. I mean, I don't mean to say that if you have a fat rear end, this is comfortable, but if you have a fat rear end, this is still going to be comfortable. So that's always good. Um, humongous, absolutely cavernous, uh, uh storage space like right here. Ice chest. It, it's unbelievable. You can put fish in there. You could <laughs> easily put a stack of laptops, not one laptop, could put a stack of laptops in here. Uh, you could probably fit like a six Mac minis in there if you wanted to build a little rolling supercomputer in this thing. How many gummy bears do you think would fit in there? I mean like 20 pounds of gummy bears. I'm pretty sure of it. I um, also like that the little holder thing at the top, it slides back and forth. Sometimes these things get in your way, but that's nice. It's little details that count. Okay, let's take a look here. We're going to start up the old engine. We've got a start button, which is nice. And you'll notice the uh, seat and everything is going to come into place. It, it moves my, it moves to my preferred settings, which I like, you know, it used to be that when you drove a truck, you had to make, you, you had to sacrifice luxury and comfort. You didn't get these things in cars, but this has everything you find in automobiles. So you've got air conditioned seats. You've got heated seats, dual zone climate control. We've got a full touchscreen interface. That's the same as you'll find on the other cars. So we've got the entertainment system here. We've got uh, navigation, although we don't have the card in this one, full uh, digital controls on the HVAC and everything else. And we didn't want to forget about the people in the front seat. We've also got a 110 outlet up here for them, as well as a power port. I used to call those things cigarette lighters. Now I have to remember, don't call it a cigarette lighter. It's a power port because it doesn't light cigarettes. Also, we've got our uh, trailer control down here. 
And what's nice is, in the dash, we have all kinds of digital control systems here. So the driver door is ajar, that's okay. Looks like a door to me. Uh, let's see, All the it's telling me all the doors are ajar. But now, you can see we've got a menu up here for towing. Can you see that one, David? Let's get here, let's, let's uh, stick it in through the, in through right here, uh, if possible. Uh, there we go. So we've got towing um, uh, information in here. We have, uh, man, everything. Digital speedometer, engine information, tire pressure, uh, fuel economy, etc. Now, the fuel economy is not really uh, available yet on this particular model. This is a pre-production model, so they're still getting it rated by the Gov. But let's take a look at what's under the hood. I'm going to shut the old engine off because this is going to surprise you. Right now, you're probably thinking, okay, it's a big old truck. It's probably got a big old engine. Well, it's got a big engine. It's got a little four banger in it. But what you're going to be surprised to know is this thing is a 3.5 liter V6. So you're like, okay, well, it's a V6 engine. No. It's not just a V6 engine. This is the EcoBoost, which means it's a turbocharged V6. That's a big turbocharged V6. Puts out over 420 pounds foot of torque. Is it 425? 420. 420. 420 pounds foot of torque. 12,000 pounds of towing capacity on this thing. It's crazy. In fact, you can get a 5 liter V8 but this V6 has more towing capacity than the V8. And since it's a V6, it's gonna sip the fuel when you're light on the throttle. So overall, I will tell you this, I've driven the truck, I've driven many, many trucks. I am a truck guy, I love trucks. This thing has a super luxurious feel going down the road. It's quiet in the cabin. That engine and the turbocharged nature of it just sounds good. It's got a nice little grumble to it, but it's not annoying. It's not high pitched. It's hard to explain. It just sounds good. It feels good. You can get lane departure systems of collision avoidance systems, 360 degree parking on the uh, dashboard. It is loaded with technology. It's loaded with power and it's loaded with luxury. Are you and thinking you, about retiring the Titan? I, I might have to do it. You can you can pick one of these things up when they become available. The sticker price loaded up the way this one is is going to be around 57k, which is right in line with anything else on the market. It's a little bit more than last year's model, but the number one thing that amazes me about this truck and the reason I'm giving it so much attention is that it weighs 700 pounds less than the outgoing model because of all the aluminum and all the changes to it. So it feels like a much smaller, lighter vehicle when you're driving it on the road. A lot more responsive with all that power under your foot. And uh, I don't know, my initial take on it, thumbs up guys. So that's your look at the new 2015 Ford F-150. If you get one, let me know. In fact, I don't know, give me a ride or something and uh, thumbs up on YouTube for the new Ford. Uh, we'll be back with a full review of it later after, after they come out. Take care, guys. My absolute favorite thing to use in the shop is a big old vice. John and I just got back from a whirlwind trip to New York. There were only two reasons we went. Okay, it's no. been a while since we've done any behind the scenes stuff for you guys. And... Uh...